Hi, welcome to LibreOffice's video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is LibreOffice, why do we use it, and third, how to get it. So first of all, we will Google LibreOffice and we will be shown these results. Now we will visit first and second link. First link leads us to LibreOffice.org, which is the official web page of LibreOffice. Second, we will go to LibreOffice Wikipedia page. So we will start with Wikipedia page of LibreOffice. So according to Wikipedia, LibreOffice is a free and open source office suite. By a suite, we mean that it consists of multiple softwares developed by the Document Foundation, which is the organization behind LibreOffice. It was forked from OpenOffice.org, which means that the source code for LibreOffice was taken from open office which is also a open source office suite so so stable release by which mean, we mean that the the current version is 4.2 which was released 3 days ago on 20th february it was written in c++ java and python Operating system, multiple operating systems are supported, so it's good for Mac, Windows, Linux, BSD. So all the platforms supported, all the majorly used platforms are supported. Supported. So Core Studio, Core i3, Core i7, Core i5, Core Duo. These are the majorly used PC uh, pro processors, which are very much supported by LibreOffice. It's available in 114 languages. Official website is www.libreoffice.org. So included applications which makes it a suit are Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math, Base. So what is Writer? Writer is a word processor with similar functionality and support to Microsoft Word. And it's very extensively used for, for making letters, document, doing documentations. Calc is a spreadsheet program which is very similar to Microsoft Excel. Impress is a presentation software which is uh, used for making presentations. It resembles PowerPoint. Draw is a vector graphics editor just like Microsoft Visio and it, it's, it also looks like early version of CallDraw. Math is used for, for creating and editing mathematical formulae which can be used in writer calc. Base is a database management program very much similar to Microsoft Access. So now we will see how the LibreOffice website looks like. So this is the website. According to it, it's a free office suite. It consists of these six softwares. We will be discussing writer, calc and impress primarily. So it's a fun project. So if you are a coder or if you are an aspiring coder, you can download the source code of LibreOffice and you can work upon it to extend the functionalities of LibreOffice and to meet your requirements. It's, it, it's built by community. And if you want to get into the community, just visit the website and click on join us today and you will be part of thousands strong community. So for downloading it, just click on this download library office now. It will automatically detect the operating system of your computer and it will show the download packages available for your operating system. You can also donate money to it if you really like it. And this icon will, will, this link will take you to the main website of LibreOffice. LibreOffice software is free while Microsoft Office Suite is paid. So you will be saving a lot of money, which can be a good thing so it automatically detected the operating system so which is library library of so it's library office mac os x so 
it's showing that LibreOffice Mac OS X x86 underscore 64 10.8 or newly near required version so this is the version name of LibreOffice which is compatible to my systems operating system so all you need all you need to do is click on this main installer and the download will begin very easy to do, do that also if if you want to download it for some other operating system then you can just see over here we have windows we have linux so for linux if you are using fedora then you can click on rpm if you are using debian based uh, or linux then you can just click on deb x86 is for 32 bit computers and x86 underscore 64 is for 64 bit processor and platform operating system so if you are using 64 bit of 64 bit processor and operating system then you should download this one underscore 64 one not the x86 thank you for watching the video